Urinary tract infections are a real problem. And you know, if you have been suffering from urinary tract infections or bladder infections, that you would do almost anything to stop them, even take a vaccine. Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm gonna talk to you about the vaccines that are currently under investigation for recurrent urinary tract infections and what they might mean for you. If you're new here, I make new videos every Monday and Friday on urologic content, including sexual health, bladder health, and so much more. Make sure if you like what you see, you subscribe subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Interestingly, vaccination for urinary tract infections first started to become an area of interest in the 1950s, but there's been lots of challenges in developing a urinary tract infection vaccination. One is that the people who get urinary tract infections are extremely diverse. We really don't understand what creates protective immunity. So why do some people get recurrent urinary tract infections while others don't? Also, we don't know what the best administration for a vaccination is. Should we give it orally, which means that it affects the mucosa or the lining of the bladder potentially, or should we give it systemically through an injection? Also, there's lots of different bacteria that can create urinary tract infections. And even within those different types of bacteria, there's lots of different strains. And so that essentially makes it hard for us to determine exactly what we need to target in the bladder itself. An effective vaccination should target something that's exposed by all the uropathogens or the organisms that cause bacterial infections or be expressed in the host, meaning the person, on the surface of the bladder that may allow infection to get into the bladder itself. So what happens when you get a urinary tract infection? Well, a urinary tract infection occurs when bacteria enters the bladder most often through the urethra or the P-tube. And that bacteria then multiplies in the urine and sticks to the bladder lining. The body responds to that infection by shedding that lining of the bladder. After the lining is shed though, the bladder is exposed to the urine, which can be very irritating. And that's why you get all that pain from urinary tract infections, like pain in the lower part of the abdomen as well as pain during urination. In response to this, the immune system sends off two different types of cells. One type of cells focuses on getting rid of the bacteria. The other type of cells focuses on repairing the lining. And because that lining being gone is extremely painful, the bladder tends to try to repair that lining as quickly as possible. And if at the same time, the other type of cell isn't able to clean up the bacteria quickly enough, you get some small amounts of bacteria that are left behind. And these left behind bacteria create a situation where sometimes people can get recurrent urinary tract infections. So that's where vaccines come in. They try to help your bladder create a better immune system to help fight off and clear that bacteria. So there have been tons and tons of studies done on urinary tract infection vaccines since the 1950s. And I'm gonna cover an article that was recently published out of a group in Germany in the International Urology and Nephrology Journal. The first vaccine that's under some investigation is called Euroimmune. So Euroimmune is a sublingual spray. And what that means is that you take a little I think it's pineapple flavored spray that you put in your mouth, hold it under your tongue for a couple minutes and then swallow it. And that's supposed to rev up your immune system, not only for the mucosal surface, meaning the lining of the bladder, but also in the body itself. It's made up of inactivated, meaning not dangerous bacteria, four most common causing bacteria of urinary tract infections, including E. coli, Klebsiella, Proteus, and Enterococcus. Patients in the studies who received this had to take it every day for three months, after which they were followed for at least 12 months to see if it reduced the number of urinary tract infections they got. So for all of these studies, typically the most common definition that's used is having a urinary tract infections or bladder infection twice in six months or three times in a year. And generally speaking, in these groups, they found that people who took Euromune for that first three months did have higher UTI free rates. And what that means is they went longer without getting a urinary tract infection compared to patients who either received a placebo or in some cases received a daily dose of oral antibiotics to prevent further urinary tract infections. 
It's currently available in phase three development, meaning that it can be used in certain patient programs in the UK, Netherlands, New Zealand, and several other Western European countries. Through these programs, over 20,000 people have received this vaccination, and it's been very safe with very few adverse events reported. However, it's still not available for prime time, and it's certainly not available for every kind of patient. So far, what they've looked at in these studies is specifically uncomplicated urinary tract infections, meaning that women who have recurrent urinary tract infections have no anatomic abnormality, have no other complicating factors that might be causing their urinary tract infections like kidney stones or other problems. Another orally administered vaccine is called Eurovaxin, and this specifically targets the most common kind of bacteria that's present in urinary tract infections, E. coli, and it includes 18 different strains of E. coli. Similar to the last vaccination, it's administered once a day for three months, and then after that, you can get booster doses 10 days at month seven, eight, and nine. And they found that giving this oral vaccination reduced the number of urinary tract infections by 64% after six months months compared to placebo, meaning you got nothing at all or a fake oral vaccination dose. Side effects most commonly seen were headache and gastrointestinal upset, meaning you might have abdominal pain or things of that nature. Ultimately, the downside with this is that it only targets E. coli. So if you're getting infections from other types of bacteria, it's not going to cover those specific bacteria. And this particular vaccine is actually recommended by the European Association of Urology for treatment of recurrent urinary tract infections. So if you're in Europe, this may be an option for you. The next available vaccine is called Solco Eurovac, including six strains of E. coli, Klebsiella, two strains of Proteus, and Enterococcus. It has been looked at in different formulations, including a vaginal suppository as well as an injection. Another vaccine that's currently under investigation is called EXPEC4V. This is a single injection works to help prevent the bacteria from avoiding the immune systems, including four components of E. coli and a component of Pseudomonas, which is another bacteria commonly found in bladder infections. So far, we have data on these vaccines in the short term that seems very promising. However, further studies need to be done before they can be widely available. Also, in these short, small studies, we have seen that side effects are pretty manageable. So mostly these vaccines are very, very safe. And so lastly, I want to share that study with you about that new vaccine out of Germany called Strovac. It's made up of 10 different inactivated bacteria, including E. coli, Proteus, Morganella, Klebsiella, and Enterococcus. These patients were offered the Strovac vaccination, which included a vaccine, an intramuscular injection, three times, once every week. And then after that three weeks, you would then get another booster dose at 12 months. If they didn't choose to get the vaccination, they were offered an antibiotic called nitrofurantoin, getting one dose every day for three months to see if that would reduce their frequency of urinary tract infections. They had a total of 173 patients, of which 124 got the Strovac vaccination, and the remaining 49 got nitrofurantoin. Success in these groups was having one or none urinary tract infections during that time period. And this is a big deal. Some of these patients are having urinary tract infections every month. So having one is a significant improvement for most people. And what they found was in the first year, success was pretty similar. About 87% of people in the vaccination group had success and 91% of people in the nitrofrantoin group had success. Side effects were pretty rare. Only 2% of people stopped the vaccination in the first group and 18% of them in the antibiotic group stopped the medication because of side effects effects, mostly GI distress, like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, things like that. In the second year, almost 80% of people did have success in the vaccination group, and the most of them did get the booster. However, in the nitrofrantoin group, that success went down to 59%. So ultimately, this seems like a really exciting vaccine with a very long follow-up. Very few of these studies have gone to follow people more than a year, and so this is pretty exciting news. Also, it saves people from taking antibiotics. And the problem with taking lots and lots of antibiotics is it creates what we call resistance. And so if you're taking antibiotics regularly for urinary tract infections, it can cause that bacteria to change over time. So it becomes resistant to the antibiotics. So that antibiotic no longer works to help treat that infection. At some point, I have seen many, many patients who no longer can tolerate any oral antibiotic and have to get admitted to the hospital to get IV antibiotics because they now have so much resistance. 
it. This is why it's so important when you have an infection to make sure you're only taking antibiotics if you truly have a urinary tract infection. That goes for all infections. So if you have a cold and it's viral, don't take an antibiotic because it can create really significant problems. For urinary tract infections, I tell all my patients that we only treat your urine for true symptoms, which includes pain with urination, lower abdominal pain. If you're having worsening urinary symptoms, like having frequency, gotta go, gotta go, urgency, gotta rush to the bathroom, and having fevers, chills, or flank pain, meaning pain in your back. If it is just stinky or it looks a little bit cloudy, but you're otherwise feeling okay, I encourage patients to drink lots of water and try to clear it up because your body is amazing and it can clear up infection on its own a lot of the time. In fact, the data shows that 40% of people can clear their own infections by themselves. So I hope you found this interesting. While there are very few vaccinations available to the public at this time, I think this is a great option in the future, hopefully to help prevent urinary tract infections for a subset of the population who's suffering from recurrent bladder infections. As always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it. <laughs>